All right, so now that we've actually downloaded our main theme off of a stock photo site, we wanna move on to step two, okay? So step two is to simply upload that main image in Adobe Lightroom, okay? So we're gonna hit the plus button right here, we're gonna grab our main image that we downloaded, and we're gonna add one photo, okay? Now, you can also have multiple photos down here in the tray if you're working on multiple photos or you don't wanna delete them, but I usually just kinda of keep like a clear tray. I delete all the ones I'm not using, okay? Now that we have this main upload, uh, uploaded image in here for our theme and our background, we wanna then resize the image using Lightroom so we don't distort the pixel ratio, but we get the right sized image, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to crop and rotate, you're gonna click that. Now, if you come to aspect ratio up here, you can obviously input a custom aspect ratio if you ever need to. Although if you look all the way down here, you can see that they just have a preset that's 1920, by 1080, right? So if you just click that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you this little drag bar that lets you see like, okay, everything in this little rectangle right here is 1920 by 1080. So you can obviously drag the photo around to meet that. Now, clearly this, this the like the left and the right of this photo already match the 1920 by 1080 ratio, right? But sometimes you'll get an image that's bigger on both sides, both width and you know height, okay? So in that aspect, you can just drag the rectangle around to where you want the picture to be. Now, because the focus of this image is clearly down here, like right off here, and then it slowly gets a little, you know, less and less more like focused as it goes out, I don't wanna drag it all the way up to the top, right? I want the main part of the image with the focus down here, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I simply hit enter, and that's gonna bring that image resized back into Lightroom. You're then going to want to adjust the brightness, the saturation, and a few other things to make the image brighter and to honestly give it more pop, okay? Think about it, right? You want a bright, saturated image that captures eye attention you know, immediately, especially because you're gonna comp be competing with other images on the screen, you know, and you want people to immediately see yours and have their eyes drawn to you, okay? And that doesn't matter if you're competing on a course site, if you're competing on somewhere like YouTube, if you're simply competing on a social network, it's all about eye traffic and eye attention, okay? And one of the easiest ways and quickest ways too to get this and, and you know achieve that result is to simply brighten the image and saturate it, okay? Now, a recommendation quickly before we jump into the side things over here and I show you how I go about doing it and some of the things that you're gonna want to set up as well, depending on your image. Obviously, each image is gonna be slightly different when you start. A recommendation is to don't, you know, you don't wanna go overboard with this, okay? It can look a little cartoonish if you go overboard, unless, you know, that's the look that you're going for, then more power to you, okay? So the first thing I'll do, it depends obviously, like I said, you know, on the image that you're grabbing, you know, is I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit. I like the way that looks. I think it, you know, increases the contrast between the light and the dark colors and the palette a little bit better. Now, if it's a darker image, sometimes if I'm taking like a still frame from a video that I do, what I'll do is I'll improve the highlights or I'll improve, you can also type over here on the sides and type in a number if you ever wanna go back to zero and you're having trouble getting there. Sometimes I'll try to drag it back and it'll end up being like negative, right? So I'm gonna make those zero, but sometimes if you ever need to brighten an image up, you can just increase the shadows, you can increase the white, you can increase the highlights and play around with it till it looks a little bit better. But I like the way that this image looks right here, so I'm gonna keep it, right? So generally speaking, I usually only do three things, and that is increase the contrast, increase the vibrance a little bit, make it more vibrant. See if I just drag it down, how much that increases the vibrance there. You don't wanna go too much because then it looks cartoonish and it doesn't look real. But if you just go a little bit, right? Like instead of like zero-ish right here, you just increase it a little bit. It's gonna kind of give it a little bit more pop, right? Especially when you add a little bit of saturation there too, right? So that's the way, that's just basically gonna add a little bit more brightness, a little bit more saturation, a little bit more vibrance, and a little bit more kind of, you know, attention to the eye when they're scrolling quickly, right? Because you're trying to grab attention almost immediately, it's an attention game against other similar images, okay? This is one of the easiest ways to basically achieve that, okay? Now, some of the things, like I said, those are the main three that I always adjust and I'll adjust them up or down a little bit slightly, never like down this way, but like on the right side of these spectrums, I'll adjust them up and down, you know, according to how the original photo looks. Um, and you can take, you know, a couple minutes and play around with it and try to find, you know, something that's good and looks good for you. Those are the three that I always do. Now, every once in a while, like I said, I'll adjust the highlights if it's dark or the shadows or the whites if it's if it's a dark image uh, and obviously vice versa if it's, a dark, or if it's a brighter image and you wanna darken it a little bit. Every once in a while, I will too if the image isn't very, very clear and this is obviously a good picture taken from a stock photo site. 
I'll increase the clarity a little bit every once in a while, or I'll increase the texture if we like undo that, or I'll increase the texture a little bit so you can kind of see like the texture on some of the rocks or, or whatever the focus is on. I'll do that, but I'm not going to do that for this one. Or I'll even in, uh, increase the grain sometimes, or if you scroll down a little bit, I'll sharpen it up and I'll reduce the noise. But that's very, very rare. Those are things that you can play around with. But really all you need to know, because this course is obviously how to do it quickly, is you, all you really need to know is upload your image, resize it using the crop to 1920 by 1080 or whatever you know ratio that you need, and then work on the contrast, the vibrance, and the saturation. That's maybe, maybe 90 to 95% of the battle with these types of images.